Hi everyone. Recently, Burt Reynolds has died. The American actor is famous for various roles such as the titular bandit from Smokey and the Bandit, as well as for animation fans, the voice of Charlie in Don Bluth's All Dogs Go to Heaven. So as a tribute to him, I'm going to do an analysis on this very interesting character. When we first see Charlie, he's breaking out of the dog pound, which somehow, by this world's logic, is similar to prison in the sense of you get a record, they know where to look, and you can be set up. This is an awesome movie, a real masterpiece, in my opinion, but it's not the best movie to analyze like that or the logic in. But anyway, so, framed for crime, but definitely not blameless overall. So, he goes back to his old business with his partner, Carface. Has a number that really showcases his lovable con artist and cheat nature called You Can't Keep a Good Dog Down. Oh, you can't keep a good dog down. No, you can't keep a good dog down. Such a catchy song. But in this song, we really show... Charlie's attitude that nothing can really keep him down, just like the song says. Exactly what you're getting. <laughs> but anyway, we also see how he prefers a life of sin to a life of virtue. So he isn't the most honest hero from an animated movie. And of Don Bluth characters. For the protagonist, he's the one that's by far the most flawed in the beginning of his movie. Unlike the very noble Mrs. Brisby or Anya, who's only motivated by finding her family. Charlie is motivated mostly by his greed at the start of this movie. This does get changed later to a revenge motive after Carface winds up killing him by running him over with his car. And we see more of Charlie's character when he gets to heaven. Charlie has no real good deeds to his name at this point. But on the formality that, on technicality that all dogs go to heaven, we see that He's going to get the wings in Halo. However, Charlie isn't interested in Eternal Paradise once he realizes he was murdered and that Carface had duped him and killed him, got him drunk so he wouldn't realize what was going on. So we definitely see a lot of anger build there and like I said before a revenge motive so when Charlie feels betrayed he will bounce back and get revenge to a point where at this point of the film it may wind up hurting him in the long run and causing only more trouble sometimes with that he can even Think of that for his own safety or money, which is his other motivator. He ignores Itchy's pleas to escape from Carface and so they can go live in the Himalayas. And then he wants to investigate what's really going on at Carface's casino 
obsessed to the point of beating Carface. And then we meet Anne Marie, who is Carface's means of getting money through her powers to talk to animals. So, orphans and animals often do get paired up in animated films. A good example is The Rescuers, where two mice are going through great lengths to save a little girl from the villain, Madame Medusa. Charlie claims to be rescuing Anne-Marie, but that really isn't the case. His motivation is completely to drag Carface down more and to gain more for himself by using Anne-Marie's powers to figure out who's going to be the winner in all the rigged races because it turns out all the animals have rigged races and by Amory talking to just one of them before a race, she's able to figure out from them who will be the winner, which is what Carface and later Charlie both exploit. But at this point, Charlie is almost as bad as Carface. He isn't a killer, of course. But he does use Amory, and in some ways you could call him worse by making it so he doesn't outright abuse Amory or keep her confined like Carface did, but he does something that is just as bad by acting like he is her friend and that he has her best interest at heart when really it's all for himself. But, Charlie is not a purely unlikable character by any means. Starting off with his loyalty. And once you earn Charlie's loyalty, he will come through for a person. He and Itchy have a very close friendship, and around the end, it is clear that he is concerned about what has happened to Itchy through Carface. It's his attack on the casino. And while he does make a big mistake here with Amory, it is clear that he does see Itchy as his best friend and not a partner or subordinate. Even if Itchy does attempt to call him boss, it's clear they have a very close friendship. And even with the scene when they're saying goodbye, even though Itchy is asleep for it, Charlie clearly cares for him very much. And we do see plenty of scenes where Charlie shows that he does care about certain values. One part has Amory and Charlie delivering pizzas with the money, even if it was to get Amory to stay by giving to the needy. And here's where it really shows that Charlie is better than that. With a song that's often criticized, What's Mine is Yours, Charlie teaches the puppies after they fight over the pizza the importance of sharing. Showing that while he might be very selfish in some bits, he does believe in certain values and he wants the puppies to become better dogs than he is and not to wind up greedy or selfish. And in spite of his manipulating, he does go to care for Amory, especially around the end, risking his own life in the end for her safety to save her from car base and to get her back to the wallet family as the dogs call them and all that to make sure she's safe and happy and shows so much remorse for what he's done and for all his efforts 
he gets something that no other dog did, a reason to go to heaven. While there are plenty of good dog characters in the movie, Flo, the puppy's adoptive mother, is an example. Or the puppies themselves, as well as characters that appear in the sequel, and of course Annabelle, the whip, the angel. Not a single one of them had, in the case of Annabelle or other angels that later appear, a reason to go there besides being dogs. They might have had loyalty, but the overlying theme is that all dogs go to heaven. Charlie leaves heaven and is told he can never go back. He's almost taken to hell, but then... Because of his sacrifice, Annabelle is able to bring Charlie back to heaven because he, unlike all the dogs before, has earned that. So, Charlie is a character that was very complex and flawed, but overall, he's a good boy. And I would also like to say rest in peace to Burt Reynolds as well as Judith Barzi and that ending scene is harder than ever now, of course. So rest in peace, Burt Reynolds. I'm sure you're up there with Dom DeLuise as my friend Brianna said. And thank you for bringing one of my favorite characters to life. Rest in peace. And as always, if you have an animated film you want me to sig to review, please leave in the comment section below or another character analysis. Until then, see you next time.